So microprocessors have come a long way since their invention in 1970s. They've become smaller, faster, and more powerful with newer designs with multiple cores and threads, and specialized instruction sets for specific tasks. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about microprocessors, the heart of modern computing. Microprocessors are tiny chips that are found in everything, from smartphones to smartwatches to supercomputers. So let's dive in and learn how microprocessors work. A microprocessor is an integrated circuit that contains the central processing unit, or CPU as the, as the brain of computer. It is responsible for executing instruction and performing calculation. That is why it is called brain of computer. Everything a microprocessor is about to execute is first stored in memory. Like an instruction we provide can be opening a file or folder, typing some commands from the keyboard to the microprocessor. A microprocessor works by fetching instructions from memory, decoding them, executing them, and then storing the results back in memory. Now we've understood that a microprocessor fetch or take instruction from memory and executes them. But what is decoding and what a decoder does? Some people say that its job is to convert the instruction into binary so that a microprocessor could understand. But it's not. The instruction that microprocessor fetch from memory is already in binary, so we don't need to convert it again. So what is it exactly then? Well, its job is to tell the microprocessor what instruction had been fetched by mapping the bit pattern to corresponding instruction, and not just to convert instruction into binary. A microprocessor does all of this by using a clock signal, which is basically an electrical voltage to synchronize its operation and a set of registers to store data and the results of the operation. Microprocessors are designed using a specific architecture, which basically determines how they process instructions and data. Some most common architectures include the x86 architecture, which are used in most desktop and laptop computers, and the ARM architecture, which is used in smartphones, tablets, and MacBooks. Microprocessors are used in wide range of applications from consumer electronics to industrial control system. They're found in literally everything from washing machines to medical devices, making them an essential component of modern technology. And this is it for this video. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you next time.